and the newest tablet was birthed into the world today, or at least publicly announced by Microsoft. Now, while the Surface tablets have had quite the expansive marketing campaigns, you know, being featured in like every TV show ever, in addition to those slightly creepy dancing schoolgirl ads, the tablets themselves have yet to take a huge chunk out of the tablet market. Will the Surface Pro 3 be able to change that? Let's take a look. Just to be clear, while many tablets have keyboard accessories, they are far cries from being a full laptop replacement. And most laptops, while portable, don't offer the same portability that a tablet can. A lot of people carry both if they are financially able to. The Surface Pro 3 aims to solve the laptop or tablet dilemma by being both. What would that be, like a lablet? God, I hope not. The Surface Pro 3 promises to be like a laptop with a new bigger 12 inch screen, a super fast Intel i7 processor, and a fan to cool it off. We'll see how that works in a tablet. Now, while many tablets out there have the guts to do everything or a lot of things that you wanna do, many people will still want a laptop because a tablet and keyboard cover still just don't feel as robust. Microsoft's gonna try to fix that lapability. Yeah, they use that word. Over and over. The Surface Pro 3 has a new hinge that offers more positions than before and supposedly in a more stable manner. The type cover keyboard now has a larger updated trackpad and magnetically attaches to the front of the device to give you an angled and more sturdy keyboard to type on as well. All this to feel more like an actual laptop in your lap. And if you're looking to use your Surface Pro 3 as a pseudo desktop replacement, there's even a dock that will output 4K video. Now, as far as the Surface Pro 3's tablet functionality, goes, it's lighter than a MacBook Air, thinner than it ever was before, and has a new stylus with active features that Microsoft demoed with new Photoshop functionality, handwriting recognition, and the ability to click and save directly to the cloud. There was mention of multi-day battery life as well, but if you're a power user, I highly doubt that that's a real life thing. Now, Microsoft is not introducing anything revolutionary here. Adobe made Photoshop apps paired with active stylus tech already exists, as does handwriting to text functionality. But what does excite me is the idea that this could be the perfect combination of features and specs to solve the laptop tablet dilemma. Now, while laptops in tablet form factor have been out for a little bit, albeit incredibly expensive, and in my opinion, too clunky to really be used as a tablet, and not sturdy enough even with a dock and keyboard to feel like a desktop or laptop replacement, I love the idea, but the perfect execution has yet to come about. Now, regardless of what operating system you prefer, has Microsoft figured out the form factor of the device with the Surface Pro 3? Would you get one considering the i3 model goes on sale tomorrow for $800? Let me know. Also like and subscribe and you know, click the sanitation and all that good stuff. I'm Trisha Hershberger and $800 for an i3? I mean, I know, I know that you're paying for the new tech, but I just, I mean, an, an i3 PC normally, you can, you can get that for like $400 with a coupon on sale. $800? The i7's gonna be like so much.